In this lesson, we are going to learn how to prepare the DXA file. Here, as you can see, we have our typical floor plan. So, I need to define a new layers. So, to do that, go to the Format menu, then click Layer. Now, in Layers Manager, I am going to define a six new layers. So, click on Add New Layer. Then change its name to E grids. Also give it a unique color. Now, as you can see, the new layer has been defined. Now I am going to repeat this step to add a new layers. Now, as you can see, I have finished and I have now a six new layers E grids, E columns, E walls, E slabs, and the last one is E openings. Now, call this for. First, I am going to draw the columns, uh, but I need you to notice that if you want to draw anything in the new layers, you need to draw it from left to right or from bottom to top or counterclockwise for the closed polygon now choose the e-columns layer then click on the rectangle button to draw a rectangle now start drawing a rectangle around each column in the plan Now I have finished. Now choose the E-Wall layer. Then activate the also by pressing F8 from your keywords. Then click on the line command and start drawing lines in the center line of the shear walls from left to right or from down to the top. For the L-shape walls, you can draw an edge line so that you could pick the midpoint then draw a line in the center line of the shear walls then delete the edge lines now connect the two lines by using the fillet command then extend these two lines by using the extend command. Now repeat the previous steps for the other shear wall. Now for core, I will follow the same steps. Also, you can press shift with right mouse button and choose mid between two points. Then click first point and the second point to pick up the midpoint. Now connect these lines together by using fillet and xin commands. Now as you can see I have finished the first core. So I will do the same for the other core.
here as you can see we have drawn all the shear walls now I am going to draw the slab so select the slab the layer click in polyline command then start to draw the slab but in the counterclockwise direction Now select the e-opening layer and start drawing the opening using the rectangle command but you must draw them on the shear wall center lines. Now I am going to delete the old layers so go to layer manager then lock all the new layers then select all and press delete button from your keywords then unlock the layers again Now select the e beams layer to draw the beams but before doing that I need to move this shear wall and these two columns to the slab border. So select this shear wall and move it using the move command. Also select this column and click move command then press shift key with right click button choose midpoint and select its corner. Then move it to the slab border. Also, do the same steps for the other column. Also, I need to move this core, so select it and move it to the slab border. Now I need to hide the slab and the openings layer so that I could draw the beams quickly. So go to the layer manager and hide them. In our project we have only the marginal beam and the beam in the core. So let's draw them. So click on the line command and start drawing the beams. Now I'm going to draw the grids, so select the e-grids layer, now click on construction line command, then start drawing the grids in the center line of all elements, in the x direction and in the y direction. After you finished, select all these X lines and right click and choose draw order, then click send to back. Now draw a rectangle around the plan and trim all these X lines using trim command.
then delete this rectangle. Uh, now I am ready to export the DXA file to eTabs. But first, I need to move it to the origin. So, make sure that all layers is active. Then click on move command. Then select all. After that, pick up the left corner. Then move your cursor to the command line and write 0, 0, 0. Then press enter. Now our plan is in the origin. Also, I need to delete the unneeded layer. So write Birch in the command line. Then activate this option and clip Birch all items. Now I'm going to save the file. So click File, then Save As. I'm going to name it Layout. For the file type, choose AutoCAD DXF file. Choose the place you want to save it, then click Save. Now it is the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, we will going to learn how to import the DXF file in eTabs. So hang on for that.